Hello, survivors. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Ruby, and today we are going to be taming the elusive Roll Rat. So this guy is actually pretty handy and overall very easy to obtain. I seem to have lost him, though. Where where'd he go? The roll rat is generally a passive creature until you either attack it or you pick up one of the gems lying nearby. When that occurs, the roll rat will become hostile and will attack you. And, and when this occurs, try and run. Your odds of survival are slim. But if you've got a dino nearby, you're good. As always, my biggest suggestion is to drop a sleeping bag. You can't go wrong with that. So in order to obtain this level 16, what I have down is a preserving bin and of course I've got our giant bee honey. Luckily an aberration bee honey is very easy to come by. Um, I highly suggest getting at least two to three different nodes of it so that you have somewhere between like seven and twelve honey to go with. Be of course taming the roll rat completely goes by your server settings on this server where to three times. The bee honey will last for 20 minutes in, in your inventory, an hour and 20 minutes on a tame dino, three hours in the preserving bin. And if you feel like lugging a refrigerator and some charge batteries with you, you can keep the honey safe for a day and nine hours. So first things first, I do have the bee honey on my person. It is in my last item slot. And what we are waiting for is the roll wrap to go under underground. So your quick step is to place the bee honey in your last inventory slot. Wait for the roll rat to burrow. Once its tail is up in the air, and of course you'll see the change in the ground below it, aim at the hole and press zero to throw the giant bee honey at the hole. When you hit zero, your character will not actually eat the honey. So don't worry unless you open your inventory and hit E if you're feeling a little hungry at the time. So then you just rinse and repeat. And it is a waiting game until the roll rat is tamed out. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to walk up, press my O, my honey dropped, and this gal got 41% from that. Awesome. So I'm going to run back to my preserving bin, boop, 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 grab another honey, and wait it out. Now I am up in the blue zone, which of course is why I am overly utilizing this charge node, and I have a little bulb dog with me. Otherwise, if that charge light was not here or goes out, I will have nameless that spawn and that can be a little bit tricky to deal with if you are a little bit of a newer player or you don't quite have a heavy hitter uh, dino to accompany you. Uh, luckily, I have my Megalosaurus, my imprinted 155 Megalosaurus, so I'm pretty safe as long as the light doesn't go out. It is very easy to get overwhelmed by the nameless. There we go again, okay, and she's down. Hit O to drop my honey. And that took us to 83%, so let me go back. I'm gonna grab another honey. There we go. We also have an earthquake going at the moment. So for the roll wrap saddle, of course you are gonna need some materials. You can unlock the saddle at level 58. The saddle requires 85 cementing paste, 150 fiber, 45 green gems, 270 hide, and 425 metal ingots. So what you ultimately are looking at is the cementing paste is going to be an accumulative of about 340 chitin and 680 stone. Of course, the fiber, green gems, and hide, you can come by by just simply farming them. There's our last one. And bam, we've got her. Um, so for the saddle, of course, the chitin in the stone gives you the cementing paste. Uh, the 425 metal ingots, essentially, if you do a nice little metal trip and get yourself 850 uh, raw metal, it will convert down. Woo! There we go. Looking snazzy. It's actually pretty cool with the, uh, with the back going. She's got some spikes on her tail. I know it's a little bit hard to see because she's standing in the brush. So let's see if we can get her to move over here a little bit and not get completely stuck on a tree. 
The roll rats are fantastic for collecting wood. They actually have an 80% wood reduction. So if you are especially uh, needing to farm wood for charcoal to make gunpowder, um, or you would like to clear an area, they are a fantastic bulldozer, of course, as well as a transport. The roll rats can transport several p and quickly uh, while you are on the roll rat you are going to hold your right mouse button and it'll roll forward you do have not the best turn radius so definitely make sure you're not living on the edge and all the cliffs like there are in the blue zone unless you're an expert driver um, they also are really great uh, for fertilizer. If you feed them stem berries while riding the roll rat, they'll produce a very high amount of feces, which, of course, you can put on your dung beetle and convert it from there, which is another great way of getting oil. For the bulldozer, rolling into trees, mushrooms, and rocks will destroy them. This can be used to clear out the areas of land quickly to be used for construction, which is great for large tribes or if you plan on having a very large amount of dinos working on any kind of achievements. Uh, although the resources from the trees and rocks are not harvestable, so that is going to be your hitch. Uh, so if the rock and stone and mushroom will be valuable resources for you, I highly recommend uh, just using the roll rat to harvest it instead of in its bulldozer mode. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. This was my little quick start guide on passively taming a roll rat. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, I'd love to hear them. Please comment below. If there's any other dinos on ARC that you would love to see a video for, please also drop that comment. And as always, don't forget to hit that lovely subscribe button. We'll see you next time, guys.